So, what about you, Imp? How do you think these mortals are surviving all of this? I seriously doubt they would survive all this time just because of weapons. There has to be something else about them that's letting them survive. Sure, a random group of survivors have helped from our side. Even if they did, who would ever help mortals? True, there was Zogron, but he left Hell decades ago. He couldn't possibly be the reason they're surviving this long. Why? Because he's an imp. And when he got to Earth, he became nothing more than a rumored cryptid. How do I know? I grew up here. I've heard the descriptions of that cryptid. It sounds exactly the same as Zogron. Okay, can someone explain to me why we brought a hellhound on this tracking assignment? They're good at tracking. I'm a searcher. The entire purpose of my species is to find things. <sighs> I just don't see the point of bringing a hellhound along. The only hound I know that's worth bringing along is Garniog, Diavolaki's hellhound. She's the only one other than the generals that can hold a conversation, or even talk for that matter. I can barely keep a conversation with you imps. Pretty much all of you only speak Latin, but thankfully, you're one of the rare exceptions. It's hard to make small talk when one member of the group only speaks English, and the either two speak either only Latin or not at all. Shh. They're nearby. Be quiet. Is that... <sighs> That's how they've been surviving this whole time? They have Lunaris with them? Wait, if that's how they survived, how could her human self access her abilities? <coughs> Quiet, Hound. You'll give us away. They're coming this way. Get up on the rooftop. <sighs> They're leaving. See? This is why I didn't want to bring a hellhound with us. They'll give away our position whenever we get close. Maybe we should keep following them for a while. We could figure out if Lunaris can use her abilities even in her human form. If she can't, then we find out what it is about them that really allows them to survive everything we've thrown at them. They fought off imps, hounds, bombarders. They even managed to win a fight against Balmol. Diavolaki's got an easy job. He's just checking in on Isru's and the hunting parties. Yeah, we're not exactly doing a Kiro or Ralgroth level job, but at least we're not a glorified errand boy. See, even one of Diavolaki's subordinates is laughing at him. No one here takes him seriously. If the Solus has any sort of personality, I doubt they would be any different. You're kidding. You don't know the Solus? Gorner's minions? Gray skin? No eyes? They make a groaning noise for some reason? No one knows where they come from? Eh... <sighs> You're not missing much. They just kind of stare endlessly at nothing and never talk. Cordo, for some reason, is obsessive about those things. All he's been able to figure out is that they started showing up in the mid-1300s, and they stopped appearing a little while later. But that's about it. Something I know about the Solas is that Gorner had something to do with them being made. <sighs> Tracking these survivors isn't exactly exciting work. Ugh... 
If only something interesting would happen. <laughs> yeah, you'd think an imp would be the impatient one, but no, I'm the impatient one. I've never been one for... stakeouts. I guess that's what you call this. Christian was always the patient one between the two of us. Oh, right. You would know him as Everentis, but unless Isru is around, I can still call him by his mortal name, as he calls it. I don't know why. I mean, I know he doesn't want to think about it before we were taken, but he shouldn't completely ignore his human life. I don't know. He's not exactly... Uh, expressive. He's sarcastic, cracks jokes, and loves his parties. But he hides pretty much everything else. Maybe if he wouldn't be that way if... Never mind. Let's just keep following these mortals. Wasn't Garnyong on an assignment like this one? Yeah, I heard she was. Some kind of undercover job like Lunaris. I wonder how that's doing. <laughs> You're right. Knowing her, Garnyog probably killed whatever goop she fell in with. Wait, they stopped. What are they doing? They're going into that building. Now all we have to do is wait for them to come outside. So, Imp, what do I call you? We're probably going to be here for a while, so I might as well find out your name. Alright, that's... unusual for an Imp. Usually you guys have names like Bess or Emeki. Then again, my name is Evanescence when searchers are normally named things like Rainsyke or Isalak, uh, so I'm no different. Did you hear that? It sounded like... hooves. Well, we didn't bring any. Oh, it's Cordo. Why is he over there? Isn't he supposed to... Never mind, just ignore him. So, how long do you think they're going to be in there? <laughs> yeah, common sense would say that. Uh, Hellhound, could you, uh... Thanks. It's getting dark, so might as well start a campfire. Don't worry about it. We're on the roof. There's no way for them to see us. Even if they did, then they'd probably just think it's another group of survivors. <sighs> I wish we needed sleep, because we're going to be here all night. You know, sleep. Oh, right. Imps are born in hell. You never needed sleep. Never mind. I wonder what Isru's and Everentis are doing right now. They're looking for hiding places mortals could be. Meanwhile, we're here, waiting for these survivors to leave the building. If only we had someone like Drogon with us to draw them out or something. <sighs> Ugh, is that Cordo again? Why would he... Oh, Isru's, Verentus, I thought you were... We were looking for mortal hiding places, but it didn't turn up anything. What are you doing over here? I wasn't talking to you, Imp. We were just waiting out for the survivors in the building over there. Mind if we join you? No, go ahead. Take a seat. What were you talking about before we got here? Not much. Right before you two showed up, we were wondering what you were doing. What was that? Where are they? 
Oh, through the window on the right there. Yeah, I see them. What are they doing? Oh, never mind. False alarm. They just seem to be camping out for the night. Isru's is, uh, something wrong? N no, nothing's wrong. Um, Evanescence? Yeah? What is it? You know how you and Everentis were brought here by imps when you were young? Y yeah Wha Who told you that? Everentis did, but it doesn't matter. Did you ever wonder what happened after you were taken? About what happened with your mother? Of course I wondered about it. I obsessed over it. To a point where the first ten years or so I was with the searchers, I never did anything. I never talked to anyone. I never interacted in any way. I kept obsessing over what she thought happened to us and what she did after we disappeared. Well, I, uh... Nicole? How did you... Are you... Yes, Nicole. It's me. Mom? I... I spent so long obsessing over you. <laughs> so did I, Nikki. I spent months looking for you and Christian, but I finally know what happened to you. <laughs> so, what now? Since we're finally together again, what do we do? I, uh, I don't know.